All right, YouTube, we back in this kitchen. Uh, today is cooked. Ground turkey. Definitely want to uh, get the lean version. And we got lean ground beef. This is 93% and 7% uh, fat. And because I hate turkey, ground turkey, anyway, the lean version, we mix them up. And you got to dock, you got to dock the turkey up so much. Um, see what that is? Onions and bell peppers. Just gonna throw some simple uh, Weber's gourmet burger sauce on there. I mean, all uh, seasoning. And I'm gonna get creative and put some blazing burger on there. Just mix them up, make some patties, and put it on the grill, man. Uh, I know you know how to make patties, so I ain't gonna have you sit here and watch that. But uh, I'm gonna see you at the grill, man. We'll get ready to put these on. See y'all in a minute. What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. About to get it in. We're about to cook some turkey and ground beef, lean ground, lean turkey, ground beef burgers, right? Gonna mix it all up, put a couple other items in there just so you can check that out. Got some plastic gloves on, whatnot, gonna get busy. And I'm gonna use some uh, mesquite today. Try this out. I ain't got a brand new bag. I need to go and test it out and see what it do. But uh, I ain't gonna waste your time today. We just making a uh, our, uh, quick meal for the day. Kitchen, so I can show you what we're doing. Hello again, y'all. We're about to uh, bust this mesquite open. Mesquite for y'all. Home Depot Lowe's. And uh, we're going to go from there. Uh, see, I got the fire going, trying to get it up the temp. And all I'm going to do is just put some, uh, put some of this mesquite in the uh, my little tray. Move my little bag up a little bit. Simple man. That's how you get some uh this how you get a smoke ring really. On the uh non-conventional oven. I mean uh grill or whatnot. Yeah, you can call it a oven because that's exactly what it do if you know how to maintain your temp. The skeet looking real good. I'll show you a piece of this uh this wood. Look at the color on it. Ooh, that look good. Look at that. Look like it already got a doggone smoke ring done. Anyway, uh, quick meals, man. Quick meals. Hungry. You uh, want to feed the kids real quick, trying to figure something out. Ain't no need to marinate nothing overnight. We're going to put some burgers on there. Some hot dogs or whatever. But today we're going to put some burgers on there. Um, trying to keep the kids from getting fat. Uh, this is definitely going to be good. Because all this is lean. Lean, lean ground beef and lean... Uh, Turkey. So I'm gonna sit there right now till my fire come up the temp. And then we're gonna put these burgers on real quick, y'all. Stick with me. What's up, y'all? This your boy, Mr. B. We back. We about to do it. Got my uh, fire coming up the temp. It's pretty much ready, so we ready to rock and roll. First thing I'm gonna do, though, is take my little chunk, my little wood pan, put my wood chips in there. You can see that. And all I'm gonna do is just slide it over the fire. Slide it over the fire. As soon as it get hot, you're going to start to see smoke coming. I'm going to show you one of my plates of the uh, patties. That's ground beef. Let me get a close up. Yep, that's ground beef and uh, turkey mix. The key, put them in the freezer. Once you make the patty, put it in the freezer so it can, uh, uh, I ain't going to say freeze up, but what it does is it makes the patty solid um, so that you're capable of uh, flipping the burger when it's time to flip it. Because if you just take a patty and you make it and you just stick it right on the grill, then you're stuck and you can't flip it. Because if you flip it too soon, it'll break in part. And if you have make the patty, what I mean by that, let me show you. Like when you're forming it up on the edges, if you got cracks in it and it's frozen and it's cooking, it's cooking together, which will make the meat twine together. But if you just take it right out the pack, form it up, and then um, stick it on the grill and it split, you might well go and break the burger in half and just nibble on it as a, a finger food. But, got plate number two. All of this comes from two three pound um, containers of the uh, uh, turkey and ground beef. Like I said, you on, on the pitch, uh, just go back to earlier in the video, you'll see the three, the three, three pound uh, containers that I was using. And then that's it, man. Come back when he's done, show you what they look like. I already know what they're gonna taste like because I eat them all the time. 
And then uh, the rest is history. So I'm gonna be back in a minute, show y'all this final product. Lesson one on how to cook quick. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. B. And it's time to show you what's going on. Man, look at them burgers. Just uh, turkey and ground beef all mixed up. Time to flip them over real quick. Remember, the key is, fun fact, you probably hear me say this all the time, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. So I need to hurry up and flip these over, and put my top back on so I can maintain that 400 temp degrees. Yep. This is why you let them freeze so they stay. Look at that, perfectly round. Perfectly round, let me show you. Perfectly round. Mm-hmm. Perfectly round. Nobody really marinates burgers, so I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, making sure it's not frozen. Look at that, the stickiness, I don't have that. Oh, another fun fact, when you're using, well, let me put this on first. Yep. Top on. Well, the flip on the motor, that'll be done. But uh, I'll turn this around real quick so y'all can see me. All right. Fun fact. Talking about ground beef. Ground chuck is different from ground beef. One, it's not as greasy and it doesn't stick. Right? So when you making your patties and stuff like that, buy ground chuck instead of ground beef. I'm doing lean just because I'm trying to stay skinny fat. You know what I mean? You know what that means, right? Skinny fat. Pretty decent. You know, got a couple of muscles here and there. What not hit the gym all the time. But uh yeah. I eat lean for the most part. And then uh the weekend, well one day I will eat junk food. Like uh when I say junk food, I'm talking about eating bad. A cheat day. And that's when you see me finding the grill and eating whatever I want to eat. So I pay the price during the week. And the day I'm eating, I'm setting up for the, the week, eating uh, lean ground beef and lean ground turkey. Um, I hate turkey, the way it tastes, unless you doctor it up real, real good. You got to have some skills with turkey when you're making burgers. You can throw it in chili and cover the taste of it, and it, it kind of reminds you of ground beef, stuff like that. But you don't put onions, bell peppers in there and stuff like that to doctor it up to take that turkey taste away. Unless you just naturally love turkey, man. Some people do. Each his own, man. But quick meal. Like I said, real quick, don't take long to make burgers. Um, I just put them on about an hour ago, and I'm cooking indirectly. So if I was putting them over the fire, it wouldn't take me about 15 minutes. Just cooking them, flipping them, cooking them, flip them, done. Flip them twice, right? But since I'm doing indirect, I let them sit on there as long as I want. Once I think they get to a certain temp, or it's about that time, I'll flip them. Once they cook thoroughly on that end, they are done. Still fat, juicy, still the same size. I know you've seen some burgers out there when you put them on the grill, put them over that heat, they shrink up. Yep, that's that high heat. But when you smoking a burger, something about smoking a burger, man, it retains that doggone size. And them patties, if you put a patty on there about that size, when you come back to take it off and put it on the plate, it's that size. When you're doing direct cooking and you damn sorry about that real windy out here you can see uh see my little bushes blowing whatnot sorry about that but uh yeah when you cooking real burgers and uh or you cooking burgers period and you put them on the fire direct cooking right over the heat a patty this size will be about that size i know you've seen that right it ain't the meat shriveling up it's the fact that you're not smoking it so try smoking it man or try smoking it with your favorite wood and then turn around and put it on that last couple minutes put it right over the fire man guarantee you'll see the difference man you get more meat for your bur buck and you feed a lot more people like that them kids be stuffed off one burger instead of them eating two or three because they a little bit of thin patties or whatnot fun fact for the day so we back it's time to do the finished product let's see what we got going on here let's see Y'all see that temp real quick? Just so y'all ain't joking. 350 right now. Get my handy dandy container. Yes. 
Yes. Awesome. Look at that. Still juicy. Let me show y'all the size on these, man. Look at the size on these things. Look at the juice on them. Look at that. Can't get no better than that. No better. Yep. Easy day. And I still got charcoal in here. This is all burnt out. It's black. I'm going to dump it in there so it burns out. So I don't have to retain nothing. And then we're going to go from there. Like I said, here go the finished product. Mm-hmm. Ground beef and turkey. So, once again, this is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Cooking up a storm. Quick meals. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I let your boy. Peace.